Hey, what's up? I'm Liz, the Split Save DIY, and today we're going to be revisiting the Petal Pie by Electro Smash. Now, uh, if you missed uh, my video review on this, uh, is up on the channel. Electro Smash, uh, for full disclosure, did send me this for review, and I do really like it. It's an open source guitar pedal based on the Raspberry Pi Zero. So that means you're basically running Raspbian to run all these different effects that are in in C. Uh, that are digital effects for your guitar, and you can switch between them just with this one pedal. Uh, now, the only thing that I found to be, as I continue to experiment with it, if I want to switch effects, like you'd have to type, you know, out the command to switch scripts. So I thought, um, wouldn't it be cool if you could build kind of like a button controller to switch effects that way, kind of like with your foot, like with a normal guitar pedal? So I was able to build just that right here. Uh, and so this is running on a Circuit Playground Express from Adafruit, uh, and there are eight buttons, one to start the script. Uh, so with this button, you're able to log in uh, and change directory into the folder that has all the effects. Um, I did that so you wouldn't have to type all that out. And I put a bunch of delays in between each line so that it wouldn't start typing before uh, the Raspberry Pi was ready to receive that command. Uh, this kind of escape button to end the script, control Z. And then these buttons are for my favorite effects that uh, Electro Smash has written. Now, of course, you can also write your own effects. I haven't gotten that advanced yet, but for now, this will do. Another reason why I decided to go with the Circuit Playground Express is it's a circular board. I can actually open this up. Uh, and on the top are an array of 10 NeoPixels. I thought it'd be really cool to have those light up a different color for each effect. Uh, and I also like the circular form factor. And you can see right now it's housed in a pencil box that I drilled out some holes on. And eventually I'd love to be able to, I know I say this almost for every single project, I'd love to 3D print an enclosure uh, that would be kind of circular with the buttons kind of around it, kind of almost like a nod to the Rotovibe pedal uh, that Hendrix made famous and things like that. I think that it would be really cool to have the, the lights on the top and the buttons all in a circle. And then maybe somehow also 3D prints a uh, housing for this the actual pedal uh, to be able to kind of have it all sit together. But for now, version one is in this pencil box. I kind of like how the circuit is suspended in midair. Um, and I actually, I didn't do any soldering to complete this project. I what I did was I used these plastic screws that I've used to mount other projects um, to actually hold wire against the contact points on the circuit playground. And then I just have the wire kind of tensioned and clamped around the terminals of the buttons. So that's the only way we're making contact right now. And it's working really well. Um, because the Circuit Playground uh, series of boards uh, is meant to be used with alligator clips, so I kind of knew like as long as it was clamped in nicely, like it's going to work. And that's actually how I prototyped was with alligator clips. And another thing, if I do when I do a final housing of this project, I want to use actual momentary switches that are in the style of like your traditional uh, guitar pedal buttons, because it just has that nice stompy noise and has really heavy duty. Whereas these are they're fairly heavy duty, but they are a little bit small in comparison. They're actually similar in size, a little bit smaller to the um, selector buttons on the uh, pedal pie that selects the effect amount. But um, now that I've kind of given you an overview, uh, let's take a look at how this works uh, in action. Now, first off, as far as this code goes, um, I always look at other projects just to get an idea on how people are setting up the stuff and also the correct syntax. Um, and I want to give a shout out to John Park for his uh, Circuit Playground uh, classic password vault project where um, I was able to see how to set up strings uh, and to make an array of strings to kind of cycle through. Uh, so I just wanted to mention that, that that's where I got that. And I'll link his project down in the description down below. I was also able to get an idea on how to do arrays of colors for NeoPixels on the Adafruit form. I will link uh, that post down below as well. Okay, so let's talk code. Uh, what's going on to make this thing work? Uh, so in the Arduino IDE first, I'm declaring a couple libraries, most importantly the keyboard library and the NeoPixel library. Uh, then we're defining some variables. Uh, I've got num switches, num colors, and pixel pin. Pixel pin 8 actually corresponds to digital pin 8 on the Circuit Playground Express. 
Uh, that uh, is the pin that the NeoPixels are hooked up to on the board. Uh, num switches and num colors are gonna come in handy in a moment when we make our array to be able to cycle through everything. Next up's gonna be the NeoPixel information. We're declaring strip as a NeoPixel and there's 10 of them. We're gonna be using pixel pin, uh, pin eight, and then also the, uh, the types of pixels. So next up we've got the array that actually has all of the strings that are going to be sending to change effects in uh, Raspbian. So it's greater than 8 bits, so that's why we've got the little star here next to the char. Uh, and then I called it fx and then num switches, so that's where the 6 is coming in. And then you see we've got 6 strings here, pseudo, point slash distortion, pseudo, point slash fudge, etc, etc. Now then we've got some individual chars. Uh, which stands for character, uh, so it's a little weird to say char, uh, but we've got control key, which is left controls to be able to modify, and then the enter key, key enter. Now next up, we're declaring some buttons that are hooked up to digital pins on the circuit playground. So the numbers are corresponding to pins. And then start switch and stop switch, uh, those are separate from the strings, but these are for starting the script when we do the whole login and change directory. And then stop is um, control Z to stop the script. So those are also pins on the board, but they're separate from the array that's going to be the effects. And then here I declare the different colors that are going to correspond with the different effects so that when I press switch one, it will send pseudo point slash distortion, but it will also change the color of the NeoPixels to orange and that kind of corresponds with each of them. And then here's where we make the array of switches. So again, we're pulling them switches, so six equals and then switch one through six. Now we're doing the same thing with the colors, 32-bit uh, variable, colors, num colors, six colors, and those are six colors right there. So we go into the setup. We begin the keyboard library. Uh, we declare the pin mode for the start button and the end button, and we make them uh, input pull-ups. For the FX buttons, uh, we do a, a for statement uh, and send them all to input pull-ups as well. And then we also, for the NeoPixels, we've got strip.begin, strip.setbrightness, and strip.show. Then we go into a loop. See, I've got some uh, void scripts going. So the start script, FX switches, and end script. So here we have the FX switches, uh, and this is how we're getting the, the buttons to correspond with the commands in the terminal. So we have a for statement, for i equals zero, i less than the num switches, so less than six, i plus plus, so that means i is gonna equal six. If we're reading the switches as low, uh, which it's low because they're, they were declared as input pull-ups. So they're going to be default as high, but when the button's pressed, it's going to read as low. First, we're going to color white, and here's where we're pulling the color, so we declared way back in the array. Um, then we have a slight delay, then keyboard prints FX I, so that grabs the array of strings, then a quick delay, then keyboard press enter key delay, release the enter key, a longer delay, and then strip.clear. That's so that the color will be able to change on the NeoPixels afterwards. Now it's keyboard.print for the strings because we aren't typing out those. We're sending the string as kind of a package. But it's keyboard.press for the enter key because it's like we're pressing a key on the keyboard and that's why we also have to release the key. So that's how the strings for the effects are being sent. And then the start script, this is a little bit longer. So again, we're checking to see the state of the switch and it's gonna be low. I do a rainbow cycle to start things off. Uh, so then we're keyboard print pi, so that's login, and then pressing enter, releasing enter, printing raspberry, because I just kept it the default login for the password, and um, since it's not connected to the internet, otherwise you should really change it. And then you know the press enter, release enter, and then print cd, pedal pi, all effects. So we're changing the directory from the default directory to the folder that has all the effects in. And then again, enter and then release all since we're ending it. And then void end script again, we're gonna check the state of the switch, needs to be low. I color wipe red, we're pressing the control key, or we're pressing Z. Notice how there's no delay, so they're getting pressed at the same time. So control Z together, a quick delay, and then release all, because we have to release both of these because it's like we're pressing keys on a keyboard. That longer delay, and then we're clearing the colors. And so that's to end the script to get back into the like normal terminal. And at the bottom here, we just have some kind of defaults NeoPixel stuff, the wheel byte, which is used in a lot of the um, NeoPixel code from Adafruit, Rainbow Cycle, pretty famous. Uh, and then color wipe, I did do a little bit of a funky thing with color wipe, and that's so that we're able to pull the colors array. I put in this for statement, 
16 bit x equals zero, x less than the number of colors, so six x plus plus. So x is gonna equal six. And then 32 bit value of c up here is gonna equal colors um, with the array of x. So that's grabbing the colors that were declared up here. So we'll cycle through those at the same time that it's cycling through the effects. But yeah, that's basically the code. So uh, let's go ahead and see this in action. Okay, so once the Pi finishes doing its um, boot cycle, it's gonna prompt you for a login. Now, it'd be a pain to like start uh, having to type all that out. So I have the start button here in the corner that first, first runs the rainbow loop uh, effect on for the NeoPixels, and then it types in Pi, then it waits a bit, types in the password, then it waits a bit, and then because that can vary in time, there's a longer delay. It types in change directory to the pedal pi all effects folder, and then we're good to go. So now if I press this button, changes to distortion and, can't see me right now, but I have my guitar. Now I wanna end this, I wanna go to another one. I'm gonna press this button And it'll flash red. That lets me know that uh, it's all set. Let's type in Control Z to get out. And then if I press this, I'm in the reverb effect. So that's the controller that I made to control the pedal pie. I'm really excited how it came out. I'm glad that I was able to use the uh, Circuit Playground Express. Um, if for no other reason, just the lights and the form factor. I mean, you could really do it with any kind of board that was similar, either an M0 or even an Arduino, as long as it had the 32U4 chip if you wanted. Uh, it just needs to have that keyboard capability. Uh, but I, I like this kit, just a little bit funky. Uh, and I, I like using the pencil box and you're able to get at everything pretty easily, so. And yeah, it is kind of amazing with the keyboard library and all the HID um, things that are coming out that you can really kind of make anything to control anything uh, right now. Um, it's really cool. Yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you liked it, toss me a thumbs up, leave any questions or comments down below. Find me on social media, links are down in the description, as well as uh, links to the Petal Pie and all the resources I use to create this project. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing for more content like this. And until next time, this has been Blitz City DIY.